What's up guys, Nico and me here, and today we have four amazing new Pokemon and info on the two Pokemon we got leaked from Coral Coral last week. Uh, we also have a new game mode called Hyper Training, which I guess is kind of like Super Training 2.0. It's for more casual players who want to make Pokemon that can work competitively but don't really have the time to do so, so that's cool. Uh, but first, I want to talk about the Pokemon I like the best, and that's Mudsdale. Mudsdale is the draft horse Pokemon. It's a ground type, its height is 8 feet, and it weighs 2,000 pounds. Its abilities are own tempo and stamina. If you don't remember what own tempo does, it makes it so you cannot get confused by your opponent, by yourself, so that makes things like outrage and stuff like that not confuse you. Uh, now that I think it's going to get outrage, but I mean it might. And it also has the new ability stamina, which is crazy cool. Every time it gets hit, I'm assuming by a physical move, I'm not for sure, uh, but in the video, when it got hit, uh, it gains defense stat. That's really cool. So it gains one stage of defense every time it gets hit. I'm assuming that's a physical attack though, but it's not for sure. It could be either. I'm going to make a video later today talking about Mudsdale more in great detail, giving it possible moves, and uh, really talking about it uh, as a competitive Pokemon, but also in-game. So make sure to subscribe to see that. Sidetrack, we have new information on Mimikyu, uh, now it's 1k, not 2k's, and uh, it's still Ghost Fairy, it weighs 1.5 pounds, and it has the ability disguise, which we knew, but now we know what it does. It's very, very cool. Um, basically, it doesn't get hurt on its first attack, so when something hits it, it doesn't get hurt, its disguise just dies. So it's kind of like a substitute that's instantly there, uh, but you can't re-put out that substitute, if that makes sense. So say it's going up against a uh, Poplio and it used Water Gun, the uh, Mimikyu would not get hurt, its disguise would just die. I don't think that really changes anything, I mean it might lose some stats, we don't know, but basically from what we know, it's basically just like an instant substitute, which is really, really cool. Also something funny about its summary, the rising popularity of Pikachu styled merchandise around 20 years ago is the reason that Mimikyu makes itself look like a Pikachu. In fact, the Pokemon is dreadfully lonely and it thought it wouldn't be able to make friends with humans if it only looked like a Pikachu. That's so sad but cool at the same time. Wow. And I think in the video when it got hit and the disguise died, it just saved us from looking at what it actually looks like behind the disguise and we just didn't get to see it. But that's cool, and uh, this is going to be really crazy with uh, if it learns the move substitute, if it can, and then also if we give it a uh, focus sash or something like that, so it doesn't die like three times in a row, that would be really crazy. Put a Toxic on something, put a Will-O-Wisp, that's, that's going to be ridiculous, I'm excited for it. Next up, we have Wimpod. For some reason, I really want this thing to turn into a bug dragon or water dragon. Um, its ability is really, really interesting. The new ability Wimp Out makes it so whenever Wimpod is half below HP, uh, it runs away or swaps out for another Pokemon in the case that you have a team. So catching this Pokemon is going to be kind of hard because once it drops below half, it runs away. Um, but also uh, competitively or in battle, whenever you get this thing below half, it instantly switched out. I don't know if you can choose with Pokemon or it's a random thing. I'm assuming it's a random thing, but that's a really cool ability. Um, don't know if it's really good. I can't really wrap my head around it yet, but it's pretty cool. We have new details on Beware, that weird pink bear thing. Uh, it's apparently strong arm Pokemon and it's normal fighting, and its new ability Fluffy is weird. So. Uh, if the Pokemon has contact with another Pokemon, the battle damage is halved, but in return it also takes double the damage from Fire-type moves. I mean, that's good because it basically is super bulky against physical attacking Pokemon, but the Fire thing is kind of weird to me. Basically, it's a Grass Pokemon or a Steel Pokemon because Fire can do double damage on it now, so that, that's kind of weird, but interesting. Next, we have Bound Sweet. This is the only Pokemon that, for me especially, looks like a rehash of another Pokemon. Uh, the, what's the Cher Blah something? The Cherry thing from Sinnoh. Um, it's a Grass Pokemon. Uh, it's Ability Leaf Guard. 
uh, and it has Oblivious too. So, I mean, I don't really see anything special with this thing yet. It looks kind of boring, but it might evolve into something cool. Uh, hopefully it evolves into something better than the Cherry Blossom Pokemon, because that was kind of disappointing, but I think this one could evolve into something really cool. Finally, we have Comfy. <laughs> That's such an interesting name. Okay, so it's the Posey Picker Pokemon. It's a fairy type. It looks like a first evolution. Hopefully it evolves because I think this has tons of potential. It could end up being like some fairy princess with flowers all around. Uh, it definitely does have potential. Um, it kind of reminds me of Florges where it looks like it would be a, f a grass or a grass fairy, but it's just a fairy. So it has the ability Triage, a new ability with... Uh, makes it so this Pokemon restorative moves gains the highest priority in battle, which is really cool. So if it has something like synthesis or recover, that happens first. That's a really cool ability. So I really hope it evolves into a bulky uh, fairy Pokemon. So it picks flowers and carries them around. It makes a ring of blossoms and spreads oil from its body on it, which changes the flowers and something 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 uh it's it's a cool little flower pokemon so what's your favorite pokemon that got revealed today i like them all besides the blossom blossom cherry thing 2.0 um i just i don't know i like them all i like mud scale a lot uh they just this region has really served really cool pokemon i really love mimikyu and its new ability i love the fluffy ability, even though it's kind of weird. I love Mudscale's ability, stamina. It's just all of these things have really cool things. I even love Comfy's new ability, which makes it so it gains health faster than everyone else. So, yeah, it's really cool. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing a Mudscale video talking about possible movesets and stuff like that. So make sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.